let's talk about the best herbs that can naturally boost blood flow to the penis, helping improve sexual health and performance. This is based on the latest scientific research, so stay tuned to learn how certain herbs can help improve circulation and overall health. Because I'm going to explain when and how you can take these herbs for maximum beneficial results. So, let's dive right into it without any delay. Before we talk about herbs, everybody should understand why blood flow to the penis is so important. Now the thing is, good blood circulation is the key to achieving and maintaining an erection. If there is good blood circulation, no problem with the erections. But, on the other hand, poor circulation can lead to weaker erections, and most of the time it leads to erectile dysfunction ED, which is a common concern. That's why increasing blood flow is essential for better sexual health. All right, so, starting from number third, grape seed extract. Make sure to get a 95% of extract because it has garnered attention for its potential benefits in enhancing male sexual health, particularly concerning erectile function, rich in antioxidants, especially proanthocyanidins. Now, there are three main reasons why this herb is so good for men's erections. First, because of nitric oxide production. As nitric oxide NO is crucial for vasodilation, allowing increased blood flow to the penile tissues. Okay, so, grapeseed extract has been shown to enhance NO production, thereby improving blood vessel dilation and facilitating better erectile function. Second, it has a positive impact on endothelial function can lead to improved blood flow, which is essential for, again, strong erections. Third, because of its antioxidant properties, grapeseed extract is abundant in antioxidants that combat oxidative stress, a condition linked to erectile dysfunction. So by neutralizing free radicals, GSE helps protect endothelial cells and smooth muscle tissue in the penis, essential for achieving and maintaining erections. Now, these are commonly available in supplement forms. Typical dosages range from 100 to 300 milligrams daily. It's advisable to start with a lower dose and adjust based on individual response and guidance from a healthcare professional. There is one thing more, red grape juice. Incorporating red grape juice into your diet may also be beneficial. A recent study indicated that men consuming red grape juice five or more times per week experienced a significant reduction in ED symptoms. So, when should you take it? Well, taking GSE supplements with meals can enhance absorption and reduce potential gastrointestinal discomfort. So, moving towards the second herb called crocus sativus often called saffron, has been explored for its potential benefits in enhancing male sexual health, particularly concerning erectile function. Several studies have investigated its efficacy, suggesting promising results. A study involving 20 men with erectile dysfunction administered 200 mg of saffron daily for 10 days. Results indicated significant improvements in erectile function, as measured by nocturnal penile tumescence tests and the International Index of Erectile Function Questionnaire. A comprehensive review of multiple studies concluded that saffron positively impacts male sexual function, including improvements in erectile dysfunction. So, if we talk about the dosages, studies have utilized varying dosages. While the pilot study used 200 mg daily, other research and reviews suggest that a daily intake of 30 mg may also be effective. Saffron can also be consumed in supplement form or added directly to foods and beverages. Consuming it with meals may enhance absorption and reduce potential gastrointestinal discomfort. Okay, so the number one on the list is Yohimbi. Derived from the bark of the African Pazanostalia Yohimbi tree, has been traditionally used to address male sexual dysfunction, particularly erectile dysfunction. The active compound, Yohimbine is an alkaloid that functions as an alpha-2 adrenergic receptor antagonist, influencing both central and peripheral nervous systems. Yohimbine's primary mechanism involves blocking alpha-2 adrenergic receptors, which leads to increased release of norepinephrine. This neurotransmitter enhances blood flow to erectile tissues by promoting vasodilation, thereby facilitating stronger erections. 
a comprehensive analysis of seven clinical trials demonstrated that yohimbine is significantly more effective than a placebo in treating ED. The meta-analysis reported an odds ratio of 3.85, indicating a substantial improvement in erectile function among users. Further evaluations have confirmed yohimbine's efficacy in enhancing sexual performance, with studies highlighting its positive impact on erectile function when it comes to dosages. For treating ED, the typical dosage of yohimbine hydrochloride is 5.4 mg taken orally three times daily. If side effects occur, a reduced dose of 2.7 mg three times daily may be considered, with gradual titration back to 5.4 mg as tolerated. Yohimbine is best taken on an empty stomach to enhance absorption. Consistency in dosing intervals helps maintain stable blood levels of the compound. So, these were some of the best herbs that can boost blood flow to the penis and potentially improve sexual performance. Remember, always talk to your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements or herbs, especially if you're on medication. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with these herbs, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.